doing a rump fat. Some breeds are part of this, some don't. But what we're doing is we're going right to the hip bone and we're going to pivot off that towards the tail head. And I'll watch the screen and I'm going to get a good clean image that shows uh, the curvature of the pelvic bone here. And it's a pretty quick, simple image to pick up. Just freeze it. Comparing this rump fat here, over the, it's hard to tell sometimes but there's a line that runs between the two muscles. And where the two muscles meet is where we measure. And usually you'll see a dip in this rump fat. Or this curvature under here is the curvature of the pelvic bone. And this is the hooks right here. And we just kind of get a good clean image. But we're basically looking for this one spot. And what we're going to do is measure, place our cursor right there. And then we come up here to the top, where the top of the back of uh, the rump fat is. And move around there. Right there. And we get 0.66 inches of rump fat on her.